Here we have the MSI Mag B760M Micro ATX or MATX or medium size motherboard, let's say, Modar Wi Fi Edition. As you can see, it says Windows 11 compatible, it's got Lightning Gen 5 uh, 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 PCIe in there for your GPU, and it's uh, compatible with the 12 and the um, 13th generation that's how it looks you can just see some of the details on the box already here it says robust power design lighting gen 5 ddr5 support and i believe it's up to 6200 no 7200 megahertz uh this thing could probably push your ram in no it says 7000 actually megahertz right there those are the information that is there pretty much okay so Let's have this thing opened, haven't been opened before. You'll be greeted with uh, these things in the box. Let's take the motherboard out. It's actually quite heavy in the hand. You could use these for those uh, smaller form factor builds, which I'm gonna be using later. Let's see what's underneath of the box. You got your Wi-Fi antennas here. That's what you got. It's basic Wi-Fi antennas. And you got a SATA cable there. It's 90 degree angle SATA cable. You got some screws. I believe it's for the NVMe drive that you would be installing later. And another screw for the NVMe drive again. So what else we get here? European Union regulatory notices and stuff. Okay, that's not something that I'm after. And we have installation guide, you know, with all the things you got to do. Okay, that's pretty nice. And you also get a set of these uh, cable management stuff with some of these things which you can use if you want these stickers. It's a sticker. Yeah, it is a sticker. <coughs> wow, bless me. Sorry about that. So you could use these for cable management, RGB, RGB, fan, fan, and SATA or uh, other things basically. And they got that cute little dragon's uh, thing in there. Let's take the motherboard outside of this box and have a look at it. Okay, it's actually a beautiful motherboard. It's quite heavy. The aluminum is like really good quality aluminum. They used a lot of heatsink. This is not plastic like a Suze or other things. This whole thing is a huge chunky piece of aluminum that's going to cool this thing down. Same as this thing. You got this um, shield cover for your um uh, m2 drive you can add another one in there i believe you got the pcie gen 5 gen 4 and gen 3 right there if i'm not mistaken two sata on this side and two sata on that side which makes it basically four of them usb uh, uh, uh connection for your case or usb 3 as they say and this is type c i believe type c connection 24 pin a standard connector you got cpu fan you got pump you got rgb and you got some other stuff going on and it's got like two power plug for the uh, cpu power i believe that you may not need to install both of them if you're not using like uh, a type of cpu uh, that you're gonna overclock or things like that we got the bias battery we got this thing for the sound and uh, we got rgb system fan system fan and i don't know what that connection is and the front IO connection stuff basically and four modules for your DDR5. It's got pretty good cooling. I'm impressed with the quality of this thing. But I might have to open this heatsink, spray, spray paint them black because I'm going to go for a black build. That's why. Anyways, so turning it to the IO area, I hope you can see well. Yeah, in the IO area, we got four USB up there hdmi display port but these are if you use a cpu that has integrated G uh, gpu in it you can use that uh, if you're not planning to use the actual gpus uh, uh, hdmi or display port we got type c unfortunately no thunderbolt if i'm not mistaken i have to check that out later and we got uh, usb uh, and two more USBs. I believe these are probably 3.2 or something like that. We got 2.5 gigahertz LAN cable right there. And these little shiny things are where these 
Wi-Fi antennas actually connect to. You just screw them in just like that. They screw in nicely and your audio system, mic and uh, in and out and things like that. So that's pretty much it. This is a pretty good looking motherboard. I actually like it. It looks very nice in my opinion. And the back of the PCB, let's have a look at the back of the PCB. The back of the PCB is also a very simple design PCB kind of a thing. So it's a good quality. And this may cost you about $200, I would say, maximum. You could get it on sale for $150 or so, but price changes all the time. So yeah, that's it. These are the latch for the RAM. The bottom one doesn't open, of course. Yeah. That's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed watching this thing, uh, you can thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, which I would greatly, greatly appreciate. And it would be just amazing. You can also press the share button and donate to my channel, the thanks button up there. And uh, that would be also a lot appreciated. Anyways, guys, you guys have a great, great day or morning or evening. <laughs> Anyways, see you guys later.